Hi, this is Chris KG, and today we're going to go through the game Grounded. Um, I noticed that uh, there wasn't a camera button assigned for to toggle the camera views. Uh, I know in like this gameplay footage of people playing a third person, but the default view is actually first person. So I'm just going to show a tutorial on how to uh, actually assign the button. So we'll pick the character here. Um, I'm actually going to go with Pete because surprisingly enough, Pete actually looks like I did when I was probably about eight or nine years old, which is kind of scary. But <laughs> I had the same haircut and the glasses and everything. So, and I like space, so the uh, T-shirt matches. But uh, I noticed that this is a new game. We all know it's in development, so they uh, the, the developers didn't assign an actual button for camera toggle yet. But it's as My easy as just going into uh, controller me. assignments and just selecting a button. So we'll pick Pete here and then we'll load it up. And then I'll show you from there how to do this. Now, um, what I, ch I chose to use the button Y because I play other games like Sim games and race car games and I usually use the Y button on the controller. This is for Xbox One, by the way. The Y button to switch views. Um, and also in this game in particular, the Y button only toggles to show like markers on your hood display. So like if you lose your backpack or something, it shows on your screen when you dropped it. So I would, in my opinion, I would leave that on. So just make sure before you sign the uh, new button layout, make sure you leave markers on. So you don't have to worry about uh, it not showing up on the screen if you get killed by a spider or something. It be well and you lose your marker. Okay, so from here we're going to go into the uh, options menu, and then we're just going to go to uh, the controller assignment. So you just push the bumper paddles to go over until you select controller, and then go all the way down to the bottom. Now you'll notice that the uh, screen's highlighted in the different boxes, so just make sure you select the right one, and then push X to unbind it. So here we're going to go down, to, like I said before, the trail and backpack toggle markers. We're going to turn that off and then go up to camera mode toggle. See how there's no button assigned. So pick a slot, push A to bind it, and then select Y button here. This is when you want to push the Y button to make sure it assigns the proper button. And then from here, just make sure it saves. You just push the uh, left stick it's at the bottom there. You can see push left stick to apply changes. And then from there on, you just go right back into your game and you should be able to toggle between the camera views. So test it out here. So see there you go, now you can get first person and third person view just by pushing Y. So that's it, that's all you have to do if you want to play in third person or first person. I like first person better, but my wife likes third person, she wouldn't play this game with me unless I figured this out, so <laughs> I took time to figure it out, I guess. Uh, if you want to check out some of my other videos, I got some pretty cool stuff, some gameplay stuff. I also do, uh, do music, so you can check out my music. I think it's good, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Alright, well thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Chris KG, and don't forget to subscribe if you like. Peace out.